something's not right. She's the girl who was home alone when a suspected burglar tried to break in. A terrifying situation for anybody, let alone a 12-year-old girl. I'm kind of freaking out. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is a criminal. But Taylor Blanton handled it with guts and bravery beyond her years. Taylor was playing video games on the kitchen counter, waiting for her mom to come home from work when she heard someone trying to get in the front door. I'm coming over here and I'm like ducking down and I'm trying to look at him from here. Taylor kept her cool and dialed 911. There's a guy trying to break in and I don't know what to do. Just listen to the important details she gave police. Do you have a description on the person? He's wearing a red auburn t-shirt and he's wearing a hat and he has a rag in his back pocket. She even had the presence of mind to videotape the guy with her cell phone. I just, just snap a video of him from right here. You can see him lurking in the backyard. Taylor did another remarkable thing. Not only did she take video of the stranger as he lurks between these two homes, she also took a picture. He knocked on the door first, then he went to the neighbor's house, and then he kept trying to knock on the back door and tug at it, and then he's like banging on the garage. The man was determined to get in, so Taylor found a hiding place in her bedroom closet. If he breaks in, I'm not just going to be sitting in a chair and be like, hi. So I'm hiding, and then I finally hear the police sirens coming from down the street. Working with Taylor's description and the photo and video she took, police picked up the suspect a few blocks from Taylor's house. He's a career criminal who cops say is linked to other burglaries in the neighborhood. That Good was, job. That was not fun. <laughs> no, I know it wasn't, but you did an amazing job. Thank you really did. You. You, I mean, you helped catch this guy. Incredible little girl. The suspect told cops he was just looking for a glass of water. He was arrested and charged with two counts of attempted breaking and entering and one count of malicious destruction of property. By the way, the family's been so rattled by this whole incident, they told us they're moving.